Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Brunhut Amber Ale. This is brewed by Brasserie de Brunhut in Brunhut, Belgium. Established in 1890 by the Allard family. Uh, this bottle was made, it says bottled, on in May of 2013 so we're going on two years I don't think it's meant to be that aged um, I got a bad feeling about this glowing up um, I bought this at Aquista Paces and they are like many bottle shops beer stores notorious for leaving stuff on the shelves forever there are only three reviews on Beer Advocate so not enough for us to score look at that you might be able to see those bubbles. Um, Ray Beer has a few, uh, over 100 actually, but they're saying it's 38 out of 100 and 35 out of 100 for the style. So not too positive for our Belgian brown ale. Okay, <clears throat> pretty thick, um, kind of beige head and a murky, milky brown, light brown appearance with lots of streaming bubbles very fizzy almost like a soft drink um, this beer has been retired it was replaced by a gluten free version same ABV well happy I'm not I'm happy that I'm not reviewing that because gluten free beers I haven't been too I haven't run across too many good ones um, the only one I can think of that tasted good was the Estrella Dam, Estrella Dam Dora, Estrella Dam Dora, all the rest, um, mm -mm. I understand some people can't have the gluten, but those beers are not good. <clears throat> and this is the first video review for this beer in the world, and probably the last since it's been disc discoed. It smells very caramel-like, sweet caramel bready. So it's a good aroma and it doesn't smell old or like it's gone rancid or sour or bad. So it's a nice pleasing smell. The appearance isn't the greatest, looks like caramel candy, but the proof's in the taste. There's caramel. A thing like a metallic thing from the hops, but that's a misperception of it. Misperception because it's not metallic, you know, but it's a hop thing there. A little citrus. Bready for sure, sweet bread. The mouth feels prickly and medium to heavy. And the finish is easy going, semi dry, and pleasant. Um, I don't know why we get such a low score on rate beer. I don't know what people are expecting. But then you'll read some of the reviews. I haven't read any yet, but my experience in the past is people will say, you know, they'll describe it maybe just like I'm describing it. Bready notes, uh, caramel, some sweetness. Remember, they'll say, well, I don't like brown ales. But it doesn't mean it's bad because you don't like the style. I remember Pete's Wicked Ale back in the mid-90s. Um, it's about 85 degrees right now, so it's really warm here in mid-March. I don't see anything wrong with this. I mean, it looks kind of strange um, because I guess it's not filtered at all or barely. But it tastes really good, so... <laughs> if you like brown ales, check it out. Chances are, though, you'll never see it. But you might have a bottle shop you know, a, a beer store in your area that will keep stuff on the shelf forever, so you could run across it. So, um, all right. How would I rate it? <laughs> <laughs> so carbonated. Well, considering I don't find anything wrong with it, you know, it's not the boldest or the most fantastic flavor, but it's certainly not bad in any way. I would say A minus. It's in the excellent, lower end of excellent, but it's in the excellent range, so 
This is the first I think I've ever had from this brewery, and I'd like to try some more, maybe not the gluten-free ones, but the other ones. So laissez les bon temps relay, an excellent beer. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to sunny New Orleans and go to a University of New Orleans baseball game. Go privateers!